Hi, Ron Skelton here. I'm the head teacher of Broadway Academy uh, in Aston, uh, Birmingham. I, I'm delighted to have been here for, uh, to serve this community for the past 14 years. We have a tremendous school, an exceptional school with an exceptional uh, educational experience for all our students. We have 1,250 students from the ages 11 through to 18 and uh, what's particularly great about the school is the ethos. People walk into the school and they talk about the ethos of the school, the spirit of the school. They say it's palatable. As you walk in, you can feel this special ethos at Broadway Academy. The three big issues in education, I believe at the moment, uh, as you will see report across the media, are uh, mental, mental health, uh, student obesity, and I think there's a collapse in the moral uh, infrastructure, uh, not with, just within education, but within society at large. And of course at Broadway, our emphasis is on, uh, and has been for years, based on our values, which you'll see uh, around the school, our generosity, uh, appreciation, uh, inclusivity, uh, are based on our values, uh, has been the development of good character. And of course, if we develop good character, then actually they produce good citizens, they go on and produce great outcomes, and indeed they do very well, not just in education, but life in general as well. In terms of the obesity, uh, we work very hard on all aspects of their physical development. So outdoor education, physical activity, play a big part in the curriculum as well. And of course, morally, uh, we need our students as well to be uh, developed into you know, good citizens, and again, that's part of the curriculum, along with uh, a great, you know, educational experience that we provide at Broadway Academy. But Broadway Academy is an, an amazing school. Um, why, why is it amazing? Well, I believe it's amazing, but it's not important what I think of it really, is it? It's what the students think. And of course, you'll hear the students talking effusively about the school. Inevitably, visitors that walk around the school uh, talk about, again, about the ethos, the behaviour of the students, the exceptional curriculum uh, that, that is going on, the, uh, the engagement in the classrooms, the exceptional learning experience that goes on across the curriculum, this stretch not just for uh, the middle students or the more able, but the special needs students as well. Uh, I'm delighted with the academy, the, the team ethos across the academy, the, uh, the uh, ethos which we've created, that's the spirit within the school. And it's very t intangible sometimes to be able to say, well, what is that? Well, actually, ethos is the Greek word for spirit, and it's that spirit within the school which I think is uh, really important. I am d very proud, and again, the students are, and the parents, and indeed the community. Uh, we're a hub for the community, are very proud of what we've achieved at Broadway. The teachers at Broadway are exceptional. We work very hard to, uh, through recruitment, to employ the right staff. The staff that are, uh, that have uh, the heart of the students, uh, uh, you know, at the heart of their uh, motivation for coming here is to make a difference to the lives of students, to have a deep uh, understanding of their own subject. You'll have someone that's absolutely passionate about their subject, love their subject, and that enthusiasm for the subject uh, transmits to the students who then become young geographers, for example, or young mathematicians, or young uh, English s specialists or physical educationalists. And so the strength, I believe, of the, of the staff is actually uh, our middle leaders, and the teachers who are exceptional and of course all our teachers are well qualified and the vast majority of them have uh, a degree uh, and a high level of uh, education in their own su subject as well so their subject knowledge is exceptional too but more importantly than that their character their motivation and their ability and their desire to make a difference to every child is the reason why we employ such fantastic staff here at Broadway. When I first came here, we, we were very much uh, aware of the, of, of the uh, issues in the community um, and um, the, uh, again, significant amounts of crime, high levels of crime, high levels of disengagement with some sections of the community and uh, quite high levels of poverty. And of course, we want this to be a safe haven and uh, we have an exceptional uh, situation where we were able to get additional money back in 2008. We've got our own police station in the school 
uh, with uh, 12, 12 uh, officers stationed there, which is a frontline security. But behind that, our uh, safety uh, permeates everything we do, the safeguarding. Our students feel very safe and happy here. And indeed, uh, one of the things which uh, is really dear to my heart is making sure students are happy at school. If they're happy, then they flourish in school. And of course, it's a sad indictment on the edu English education system that the English children in the minority of schools are very unhappy in relation to our European counterparts. But at Broadway, uh, all the, the statistics come back and say our students are exceptionally happy. And isn't that fantastic to be the head of the happiest school in Birmingham, if not the UK? One of the things we're very proud of at Broadway Academy is the student attendance. Now, student attendance says a lot of things about a school. Uh, it means students enjoy coming to school, the curriculum's engaging, the students feel safe, the students feel welcome, the, the students feel nurtured at the school. And our attendance uh, pre-pandemic was way above the national average, 96.7% uh, of persistent absence figure it was at 5%, which is, uh, you know, 7% below uh, the national average as well. So our attendance was outstanding, not just in, uh, for our school, in our locality, the northwest of Birmingham, but also uh, in the city and nationally as well. During the pandemic, we had exceptional rates of attendance. Virtually all students were accounted for every day throughout the pandemic. And of course, post-pandemic, as I would say now, uh, our attendance is exceptional too. Uh, way above the national average, PA rates way down uh, as well. And again, that is so, so important. Uh, there's been a lot of thought put into our curriculum to uh, design a curriculum which uh, caters for the holistic well-being of the students. So it isn't just a, about you know, their academic outcomes or their physical development or their spiritual development, but woven through that are three key, uh, th three key, key areas. Uh, woven intricately through the curriculum is the, is, the, is the development of an exceptional curriculum experience linked with character and of course that interface with the community is exceptional too and all of those combine to make an exceptional curriculum experience which involves the music which involves of course uh, you know an exceptional catering so the students are well fed uh, they have exceptional opportunity for physical education that's included with uh, you know not just in, in the curriculum but the opportunity for many many sports and high level sports indeed we have students representing England uh, in a number of uh, uh, sports but also the ability to do a wide range of other activities as well whether that's canoeing climbing uh, or generally staying fit in the fitness room complacency is the enemy of ex exceptional um, education and uh, and of course why are we never complacent well we have an exceptional uh, professional training program which caters for the needs of all our staff and sh and again uh, whether that's leadership whether that's uh, teaching or support staff and it's personalized it meets their needs but also meets the overarching needs of the academy well our, our training program for staff is exceptional um, in many fronts we have um, uh, an, an, an exceptional program of developing capacity and leadership. So leadership development has been a thread for every single member of staff across the academy this year and indeed the students as well. Uh, they've be, they, they've been, we've been working with an author, Mark Herbert, on uh, leadership, uh, what it means, leading oneself, uh, ethical leadership, uh, but also leading others and also uh, you know, developing a specialist in, uh, program uh, which, which is tailor-made to every member of staff's needs uh, linked into the school priorities uh, which uh, again create an exceptional educational experience for our students. One of my great loves over many years has been uh, and a belief indeed when I was 18 I spent a year uh, working on outdoor education and the importance of outdoor education in uh, mainstream schools. And of course, outdoor education, the creation, uh, the environment uh, are a great uh, antidote to mental health, obesity, and indeed can enrich and enliven a curriculum. And we were absolutely delighted this year to, uh, or, or in the last couple of years, to, to have uh, been involved with uh, David and Di Harper from uh, Top Barn Trust where we've 
uh, rented from them a piece of land and we created our own outdoor education centre where every student has the opportunity to go down there as part of their curriculum and have an exceptional educational experience. We're so privileged uh, for our students to arrive down from Broadway and the look on their faces, uh, the joy uh, in their, in their uh, demeanour and the lightness in their step as they get off that bus and they experience this wonderful creation is just a joy to behold. Students that are sometimes difficult to get into school when they know they're coming down here and they're going to be part of their curriculum at Island Pool, they love it and uh, it engages them in the school and engages them in the curriculum and indeed gives them a, uh, a sense of uh, self-worth, the spiritual, the physical, the mental aspect of their lives uh, and helps them to flourish. Indeed, it's all about the development of their character down here. So the students you can see uh, behind me in the lake, <laughs> they're uh, actually helping to build uh, the outdoor centre. Indeed, we've had uh, probably about 50,000 fish uh, given to us from the Environment Agency. And then we look after those fish and the students look after the fish too. What they're doing is uh, putting in predation platforms uh, so that the fish, the, the bream, uh, the, the carp uh, and uh, the, uh, all, all the other fish that we've uh, been given uh, have places to hide away from the cormorants which unfortunately come and uh, eat them. Uh, so uh, students are not just involved in using the facility for the curriculum but actually actively involved in building it, involving them building the predation bids, building the farm and actually uh, very responsible for upkeep and of course this is about creating really responsible, really uh, reliable and well skilled and uh, well rounded individuals that can take their place in society. What a sense of maturity and responsibility this sort of practical uh, element of the education brings to students of Broadway Academy. And of course you'll see them taking a walk over to our farm, seeing the sheep there, uh, we're working on the, the, the bees and, and uh, having the hives there and chickens and of course the students are contributing to that they'll be coming down that as part of their curriculum uh, looking at uh, key stage three geography how that uh, how that the land is used uh, and uh, in key stage four it's part of the GCSE syllabus and even in key stage five so uh, and again there'll be growing materials there'll be growing food and again that'll be going back into our school kitchens so uh, it's a great example for students so they can see where uh, the, the, the food comes from and where it ends up on their plate. <laughs> Success for me as a head teacher is um, can't be measured, I don't think, in terms of uh, you know a school life, because I've been here for 14 years now and probably you know seen a number of cohorts go through. But what really brings it home to me is when I see students at the age of 30, 35 whom I've taught, and actually, interestingly, I've got some uh, students that I have taught now back here as teachers and working for me, uh, and that's a success, isn't it? What's a mark of success? Well, actually, how they develop their characters in the long term. Uh, students that have been turned from uh, being uh, problematic to being on the right path. Students that have come into Broadway and had opportunities uh, and given them opportunities which are transformational in their life chances. So for example, two boys going off to Radley College this year on full scholarships. We've had half a dozen students going off to Atlantic College and indeed students in the sixth form, many of them going on and reaching their full potential in the top universities across the country. But essentially, whatever the students, whether they're the more, most able or their special needs, being able to flourish in life as decent human beings. And again, I think that is a mark of success uh, as a head teacher. And of course, uh, just coming back, I think, to the, to the happiness factor. Are they happy and fulfilled in their life? And there's a great dignity to be had in working hard, uh, bringing up families and uh, living a good life and contributing to the society, the community, and ultimately the country. One of, the, one of the marks of a great education system, of course it's about having uh, exceptional uh, curriculum experience, having the uh, happy students, having students that love coming to school, that are well behaved, that, uh, that have a great thirst for knowledge. But the outcomes of course are important too and at Broadway we have exceptional outcomes. Uh, our students achieve the top uh, grades relatively 
uh, across the country at GCSE and A-level. So this curriculum that we provide, this opportunity, produces happy students, resilient students, students that have, uh, have uh, got roots and are secure but also flourish, not just uh, physically, mentally, but also academically too. Choosing a school for your child is probably the most important decision you will make and your child will make in the, in, uh, for, the, for the next decade of their lives. And we hope that we can show you around Broadway Academy and if this school is for you, then we would be delighted if you were to come and join us. Of, co of course, it is competitive. We have a significant number of students on the waiting list and uh, we have uh, a, a, an inordinate number of students applying to us each year but we would hope that when you have a look around this academy, you, if it's for you and you like what you see, then we'd be delighted to have your child and you be part of the Broadway family.